All right, what's going on, baby? It's this old outboard. Johnson, 30 horse. On hold. Come to find out that the uh, rubber gasket, washer, whatever the hell you want to call it, for the thermostat was the wrong gasket. So that should be here tomorrow. And uh, I've just been backed up this week. And um, so it kind of worked out. Anyway, I picked up this Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic 125 PSI. Uh, two horse, four gallon compressor. 40 bucks. It's just a little bit dirty. And the guy told me it's just not building pressure gets to about 45 and just keeps running <coughs> excuse me so jump online and the most common thing with these things seems to be the gasket head gasket and the second most common thing seems to be the broken reed valve the dreaded broken reed valve there's there it is right there broken half got one good one one broken one so they're only seven bucks something like that on eBay and um, I don't want to wait I want to get this puppy up and running right now so I'm watching videos YouTube and a guy on some island or some crap same problem so what he did was he took an old hose clamp metal hose clamp you know just your regular type hose clamp flattened her out cut it sanded it down to match the broken reed valve so I started looking around going alright what the hell do I have around here in this freaking bunch of messy crap I got, I can make me one. Well, back at the old storage unit, I got tons of reed valves off of old outboard motors, but not sure they would cut in the right, you know, cut right and long enough and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't feel like running all the way the hell down there and back. So what I did was, there's the good reed valve, and there's my template. I took a blade, same width as the reed valve, took a blade out of my old uh, gap gauge. It's a little crusty, and uh, I'm going to cut me one out. And... Um, <clears throat> I think it's going to work out fine. So, got a little template there kind of drawn out, get close to that, and then, you know, polish her up and make sure everything looks good, and we'll give it a shot. All right.
my black line on there. That's how much left I have. Vice grips, so see what happens if I can smooth that out or not. And I took a flat piece of uh, aluminum, solid aluminum, and I put my sandpaper on there for sanding, try to get the straightest edge I can. I really don't want to hit that thing with the Dremel tool again, although I did put a little sander on there. Maybe I'll just give it a buzz and see because it's, it's a little tough to, to take down like this. So, see what happens here. That looks pretty damn good. Um, I think the rest is going to be hand sanding. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to keep chipping away at it until I get it as perfect as I can. Still got a, still got a little bit to go. Not much. All right, so here I went ahead and cut off the end. I believe I have it the same, the same width, and uh, now I've just got to buzz off the end for the length, and then buff that thing up as much as I can. This one here is really highly polished, and uh, see if she works, man. So you see, I just got a hair left on the uh, Sharpie line, um, and the rest I'm going to do it by hand with the sanding and buffing, and let's see what we look like right there, baby. Right there it is. Right there it is. We. Just a little bit right there. Right there. Yeah. All right, so there's the one I made. It's perfect fit. Fits right in there. It's 
like I said, it's got a couple of marks in it from the, there's the original, there's the broken one, but it's got a couple of dings in it from the frickin', uh, there's a good one right there. When I clamped it down without putting anything under it, stupid, but, uh, I'm going to play with it and see if I can't get that out. Buff it out. See. Alright, so here's what I did. I took some of this Cleans All Tough, tough Cleaning Paste and uh, threw in a little baking soda and a little bit of water and I'm just going lightly and I'm, well, let me get a little bit more water in there. More water! Anyway, a little bit more water here. And I'm just going around in a circular motion. Very lightly. Nothing crazy. I don't know if it's going to buff it, but it'll surely smooth it out. I'm hoping. And uh, I've been doing this for, I don't know, three, three minutes maybe, two, three minutes. And that's what I'm doing. All right, that, <clears throat> that's what it looks like. It's definitely not polished. And like I said, you can see where I whacked it or uh, screwed it up with the damn vice grips. So I should have known better. And I think... You can see that dark area right there, a little bit dark right there, a little bit dark right there, a little dark on this edge. I don't know if that's where it got, you know, rubbed too much on the aluminum or, or what, whoops. Anyway, I've got some, I think I've got some polishing compound. I'm going to hit it one more time. I took my awl and tried to tap out these little marks that I made with the vice grips, but it didn't seem to really do anything. Anyway, let me get to try that polishing compound. I can't remember if it's polishing or rubbing compound. And just give it one more shot, maybe hit it with the uh, Dremel, see what happens. All right, so that's the original one in the head on the intake, I'm going to assume side, and then the one I just made, I put that on the exhaust side, I'm going to assume. Because that's the side the muffler's on. So, put this puppy back together and uh, see what happens. Now, see, it's got a groove to fit in like it does here. Well, how in the hell you get that thing lined up and you know it's in the groove? Okay, tiny little dab <laughs> of grease. I didn't hear anything fall.
All right. Now I've got uh, I've got two hoses here. I got to connect, and I think I'll put a little. I don't know if I need any thread crap on there um, or not. Probably not for this type of stuff. All right, let me tighten those babies up and we'll fire it up and see if she holds. All right, plugged in, tightened up my fittings, check my other fittings, everything that I checked. A little bit loose. Let's fire it up. Perfect. Wow. She works, baby. Woo wee So there you go, about an hour and a half. Um, feeler gauge. Cut. Polished up a little bit there. And uh, back in business, baby. Back in business. My poor van needs air. This RV needs air. Um, I need air. We all need air. That's gonna do it for this old outboard, baby. Woo wee! Stay tuned. I'm gonna get this damn 30 horse in the water this freaking weekend. It freaking kills me. All right. What's for dinner tonight? Well, we got the lovely, beautiful, big fatty. Grilled, seasoned chicken breasts. No, lovely yellow rice. And uh, probably steam up a little broccoli to go with it here and uh, butter up that rice. I don't know, make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, add this stuff. Where's the damn label at? Can't read it. It's a uh, chili garlic sauce. Chili garlic sauce, picture of a rooster there. Can't see it because I've been shaking it up. There you go. Chili garlic sauce with a picture of a rooster. It says Hong Kong Fui, Vietnam. Bought this stuff a while back, used it a few times. Ooh wee, it's good in the rice, added some butter. A little extra, uh, little two little couple tablespoons of uh, water in there. Let's see what it looks like right here. Ooh, 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 look the same, don't it? But it tastes good. Oh, yeah, baby, a meal fit for a king. Here, king, here, king. Come on, boy.